Это было хорошо. morning we are here back on the bridge for the keys day two we are looking for a permit today we're looking for barracudas we're looking for anything that's gonna bite our baits we're super excited enough talking let's get fishing it's gonna take my old dead crab I'm gonna fish right in between these two flows so we got two flows going out underneath the bridge away from me and I'm gonna fish this eddy out here in front. Fishing a long leader because we got all this current. Keep my crab away from my weight. Just because the weight, the closer it is to the crab, all I'm gonna end up do, doing is spooking the permit with my weight if it's really close up to it, the short leader. Benefits of a short leader is you can cast farther, but in this situation, you saw how far I just casted, literally nowhere. Whoa! Get it. On. That was on the crab, guys. He's under there. Loosen up. Yeah, loosen that drag for sure. So he took you under the pile? Yeah. yeah. We're rooting for you, Trey. We're rooting for you. <laughs> so guys, Just guys, pay attention. See if you see his line come out in another direction because this is going to be very hard to pull back the other way. But if we can see his line, which way the fish is going, it's not just doing circles in there. It went out some direction. Just go really, really loose, dude. You feel it, Robin? Yeah. Saturday, buddy, you good? Oh, I got his line. Yeah, his fish was all the way over here. Holy shit. Wait, so Trey's fish all the way down the yeah. went all the way over here. That's Are you still tight with that fish, Trey? That's kind of crazy. So Trey's fish, which was down here, swam around the pile and it looks like went all the way to What do we got, buddy? Oh! Oh! Hey, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out. Pull him out, hold him there. Oh! Oh! Throw the tube, right? Holy bitch. Oh! Oh! Throw the tube, right? Holy bitch. Yo, who's got a wire rig on? On their rod. Oh, who's got a wire rig on their spinning rod? So the Barracuda just munched this jack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of jack that's still wiggling around. We have that in there too. Got it. Send it out. I'm gonna put this jack out on this freaking big spinner. Drop the slow, drop the slow, drop the slow. He's right there. Oh, oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh, he was coming for it and he wiggled it and kind of veered off. And he want to move it. Oh, so screwed on the spinning rod. For sure. Misel, though. Keeping the rod. 
Oh, he's eating it. Oh, buddy. He's munching on it. No way. For real. Underneath? Yeah. Oh, boy. Drag down, Maury. Stall. Oh, we're already around a piling. Keep going, keep going. He doesn't even know he's hooked, buddy. Land big black. We gotta fucking snag him. Land big black. Oh my god, he's so fing big. Get that rod Going lower. The rail. Going the rail. You gotta get that line off that rail, dude. You're rubbing it hard. Get it down lower. Lower. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, he spit it out. Yeah, dude, I felt. Wait, wait, wait. Explain what you're doing, Ryan. So Chris's jack got attacked by a cuda when he was trying to catch it. So we reeled up the jack and I put it back out on a wire rig in hopes of the cuda coming back and eating the rest of the jack. He's bit it like three or four times now, but it's such a big bait and there's so much current. I can't really let him eat it because it's getting swept underneath. I'll get broke off immediately. It's outgoing side, so you got the current running from here to there. Did you hook him? I think you hooked him. No, he keeps spitting it out. Holy crap. He's just literally eating the back end. He knows he probably can't fit the head in his mouth. Yep. Dude, she's gonna eat it. There he is. Oh got my it. god, dude, that's a giant. He's got it in his mouth, got it in his mouth, got it in his mouth. Keep going, buddy, keep going. Keep going. Keep eating it, keep oh eating it, keep god. eating it, keep eating it. So he ate just the trunk. I still got my hook in that head. And ideally, he'll come back and eat it again. Monsters on the bridge. Can't eat in that half. Well, because they normally don't go for that as much. They look for the exact same thing. They look for that big piece. Yeah. No. I'm surprised he came back as many times as he did. Whoa! Didn't really get the bites we wanted at this bridge. The tide's slowing down. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go get a little bit more bait, catch some more crabs, and then we're gonna head to the next bridge. So see you guys at the next bridge. Absolutely one of the coolest parts about coming to the Keys is the amount of wildlife that there is. There's tarpon are here. I'm, we're here at Wal Worldwide Sportsman. Worldwide Sportsman in Isla Mirada, and we're just here getting bait. And all these tarpon are just hanging out right at the dock. Absolutely wild. That's all right, man. Thanks. What do you think about all these fish, Mitchell? This is sick. Yeah, it's pretty so, cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's so cool to see them up close like that. Just cruising. Watch this. Every once in a while, you can spit in the water and they'll blow it up because they're so used to people feeding them. Over here at the crab tank. If you know, you know. Mr. Landshore getting us the permit catching ones. Absolutely crazy. Can't be too big, can't be too small. Yeah, perfect size. Nice and, nice and lively. Loves the land shark shirt. Loves the land shark. So, we're out on the next bridge. And what we're doing here is we just loaded up on some crabs and we got all of our crabs kind of spread out along the bridge. So the permit, what they'll do is they'll swim up and down. There's mixtures of seagrass and there's mixtures of sand. And they're just looking for shrimp, crabs, crustaceans, they're very opportunistic, so they're looking to eat all of that, just swimming up and down looking for it. So we have bottom rods all the way down there, all the way here, in hopes of picking some of them up. What we're also gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for them just with our eyes, we're gonna look at sight fishing. So we have 
spinning rods rig and when you see one you can present a crab out in front of it and actually see him eat it so water's a little green for it but i think we might just be able to see a couple Let's see what we can do crabby patty take this bad boy and we're gonna hook him up and get him ready to go don't gotta hook him too deep really not a big chance of uh ripping off like a, since their shell's so hard so you just kind of sit there and wiggle it in there trying to make the smallest hole i can possible patience is definitely key when hooking a crab there we go he's good to go and i'm gonna start walking up and down just walking all around and just seeing if i can see a permit just cruising and then i'll be able to pitch this out to him get a little split shot don't normally fish split shots but with the wind the way it is Really, the wind's just gonna take the crab, it's gonna catch my line and sail it away from the permit, so the split shot's allowing me to get it down a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't spook the permit. And... Got Buddy's house over here too, so he doesn't freak out. That's what's left of it. She gone. She gone. R.I.P. R.I.P. They and sucked it in. It's always my hopes and dreams. This is my luck. <laughs> <laughs> that was meant to go in the water. I guess I'll go. Put it in the water for you, dude. Today's trip ended up being really slow. We fished really freaking hard tried pretty much any technique we could think of, tried a bunch of new things, and y'all, sometimes it's just the way the ball bounces. The fish were not biting that day. We got a couple of those permit hits. You saw the one early and you saw the one later, but it just wasn't happening on this trip. The day before was pretty slow. The clips rolling right now are from the fish that we caught the day before. So you can see the barracuda, as well as the permit. Those were the target species most of the time. There's also tarpon down there, there's snapper, there's stuff like that. But the wind was blowing, the water was green. It wasn't exactly the conditions you wanted. That's fishing, what are you gonna do? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, if you like the content I've been coming out with, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And y'all, I will catch you in that next video. Later. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Awesome fish, my man. <laughs>